Hey guys, welcome back to The Bond Report. My name is Chris, aka The Bearded Blofeld. So as most of you know, Roger Moore is my least favorite Bond actor. Having said that, it's kind of hard to ignore some of his films given the fact we get some of the most iconic gadgets in the franchise, and I do love a good gadget. Factory Entertainment recognized that and wanted to give us something that was affordable for everybody's collection at home. And that brings us to our product today. This is the scaled 1 6th replica prop edition of the Golden Gun from the film, The Man with the Golden Gun. And that brings me to today's video sponsor, which is, that's right, you guessed it, it's Factory Entertainment. They did send me the Golden Gun here for no cost, and I appreciate that very much, and thank you guys for sending this over. But that doesn't mean I'm going to give some fluff review. No, I'm going to tell you exactly about the pros and cons of this thing because while it is awesome and it is affordable, it is not perfect. So without further ado, let's go ahead and flip it over to the tabletop and let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and get this bad boy opened here. Got my trusty knife with me. Get the paper out. They did package this pretty well, actually. I was pretty pleased with that. And there is the box, as you already saw. It really is a nice display box. I gotta tell you guys, they, they, they did a good job on this. It's not thin, it's a it's a thick cardboard actually. Branding all around. Give me that knife back. Forgot to cut this open inside. Oh, let's slide it open. This is nice. The display of the presentation is really, really sharp. I will give it that. Oh, okay. Looks like they, yeah, they put the little stand pieces down at the bottom. All right, let's get this off. More tape. Oh, and it's like a felt too. It's like that crushed velvet feeling to it. Nice and soft, that way it doesn't scratch it. All right, and here is the gun itself. Let's see here. This is one solid piece of steel stamp. Uh, it does have some weight to it for sure. And I will say, given that it is just one piece of stamped steel, it has good detail, but it also has some imperfections. Now, we also have the stand here, and this is a piece of plastic. It's nice. It's got the two little clear arms that stand up for it. They just clip right in there. And then the gun just kind of sets in. And it balances really well. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall over. It doesn't feel cheap or chintzy, really. I mean, it's lightweight, but it doesn't need much. Um, like I said, there's there are some imperfections. Uh, you can see some on the barrel there a little bit. Right above the trigger, the cuff link, you'll see there's like a line within itself. And that is a, that is a misprint. Now, I don't know if all of them have this i would imagine that each one is slightly different uh again this was kind of a sample item that they sent me so this could vary slightly from the final version i will say the color is all very even the paint looks great whatever they dip this in it, it has a high gloss sheen to it there's no it's not missing any marks i checked it head to toe there is no like silver poking through or gray it's solid gold and while it may not be as super detailed as its bigger brother that Factory Entertainment also did make, this is still a very nice model. And yeah, you can see it's quite a bit smaller than the original, but you know, the trigger doesn't pull, nothing moves, nothing comes apart, but it's a really great display piece. And I feel like this is something that they wanted everyone to have they wanted this to be accessible to all bond fans and that's what it is and that's what they've done it looks fantastic displayed and i gotta tell you really guys i mean this is an easy no-brainer it's 79.99 from their store again i'm gonna have a link down below in the description but i mean for the money for what you're getting it really is a great deal I feel like this is perfect for the everyday Bond fan. This is something that could fit in any home, 
Depending on what type of office you work in, you may be able to get away with displaying it at the office. Given that it's a gun, I don't know. I'll let you make that judgment call. But all the, all the little details that you want are there. So again, I want to thank Tommy over at Factory Entertainment for sending this out to me. Definitely appreciate that. And let's go ahead and wrap this up. Ha ha! <laughs> so there we have it, guys. As you can see, one six scale. This is perfect for display. It's immediately recognizable, even from people who are not in the fandom. Cannot recommend this enough. Is it perfect? No. But I tell you what, it's a whole lot of fun. And every time I see it now on my shelf, which is going to be going right up there, it makes me smile. Factoryentertainment.com. I'm going to leave a link down below. And so if you want to grab one of these for your collection, you can. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, Merry Christmas 007. Major Boothroyd wants this back in one piece. Major Boothroyd wants this back in one piece. Ah, ah, hrr, hrr. Silver bullets are more refreshing than golden bullets. Francisco Scaramanga. Francisco Scaramanga does not attend public beaches. Francisco Scaramanga avoids public beaches. For the record, you will not grow a third nipple if you purchase this item. I'm almost 100% positive on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Anyway...